Political activist Matthew Thomas is still of the view that St. Vincent and the Grenadines will experience a guerrilla war even after Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez has received his judgment from the Nice Radio lawsuit. Speaking to SVG TV News earlier today, Thomas says his statement made in November 2011 still stands, which indicated that a guerrilla war would be started here when Prime Minister Gonzalez collects monies from Dougie DeFreitas of Nice Radio or anyone else to cover the court judgment. It was in 2011. Stands today. It okay. still stands. So what is your definition of a guerrilla war? What do you think would happen now that Prime Minister Gonzalez has received his monies? A guerrilla war is better understood by practice rather than by definition. And no one in this country understands better what is a guerrilla war than the um, Prime Minister Gonzalez. He practices daily in his administration. I'll give you a classical example. Even before I do that, I said it is something better understood by practice rather than by definition. But in short, it can be defined as a means of capturing the support of the masses by any means, whatever. Thomas made it clear that in no way when he mentioned about a guerrilla war over a year ago, he meant killing and bloodshed. The only person or persons who can have that in mind are the ones whose concept of the term are limited. As I said, it takes no form. <laughs> a guerrilla war is not a conventional thing to say, you're going to do this, you say you're going to do that. When they storm the Twin Towers in America, the 9-11 affair, you think they went to the UN and said, look, we are going to start a war against America. Guerrilla wars are started when a people are oppressed. The case of Nice Radio is again a form of guerrilla war by the Prime Minister. When you oppress a people, they must find a way of coming out of that oppression. You understand? And what Dr. Gonzalez has done yesterday is not the beginning of the guerrilla war. It's a continuum.